This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, in the previous lecture, I went through the two types of distribution and uh, the charts, diagrams you can need. In this lecture, uh, we'll look at what we mean by average. Uh, and to explain and to illustrate, can you look straight to example two? It's this complaints one again. The company has recorded the number of complaints received per week over the past uh, 13 weeks and has produced the following table. Uh, we are asked to calculate the average, but as you'll see, there are three different versions of average, something called the arithmetic mean, something called the median, and something called the mode. And so I'm going to use this example to explain uh, what each of these three are. Uh, so let's write it down. The number of complaints uh, is 0, 1, 2, 3. And the frequency 1, 6, 4 and 2. So 7, yes, the total is 13. Now then. I want to know the average number of complaints. And uh, what most people think of as the average is what we call the arithmetic mean. And what do you normally think of as the average? Surely, if I give you um, a set of numbers, just making up a silly one here, if I say well, 4, 6, 10, and say, what's the average? What do we do? Uh, we add them up and divide by three. Now that's the arithmetic mean. And so here, I want to add them all up and divide by um, the number. Well, there are 13 observations, so six of them were one, so you could go one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, plus one four twos plus two plus two plus two plus two, uh, and two threes plus three plus three. So you could sit there and add them all up and then divide by 13. Uh, but it's a bit silly, isn't it? Quicker to say, oh well, there's one of zero. So that adds up to zero, obviously. There are then six ones. So instead of going one plus one plus one plus one, six ones total six. Now there are four twos. So again, instead of going two plus two plus two plus two, the total of those is eight. And two threes, three plus three, the total of those is six. And if I add those up, six, twelve, twenty, think about it, surely that is the total of all the complaints. Zero plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two plus two plus three plus three. Well, try it, but add all those up and you get twenty. Uh, simply multiplying and adding it's much more sensible. And how do I get the average? We take the total, which is 20, divide by the number, there were 13 of them, you know, think back to my silly little one a minute ago, you add them up and divide by the number of them, and 20 divided by 13 is 1.54. There is the average number of complaints per week. And of course it makes sense, clearly. If it's something between zero and three, the average is somewhere between them all. On average, there are 1.54 complaints a week. Now I hope that makes sense. Now we can write that as a little formula. You see, if we let the observations, the complaints be X, and the frequency be F, then what have we done? I went through and multiplied f times x. We did that each time and added them up. Well, the symbol for adding up is sigma. That symbol there means the total. And we have the total of all the f times the x's. 
And you've seen sigma before earlier when we looked at correlation regression, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and of course, the 13, the total number of oscillations, that was the total of the Fs. And so the arithmetic mean, the symbol for it is x with a bar over the top. It's the total of the fx is sigma fx divided by sigma f. Uh, but really, it shouldn't be a question here of just learning a formula for the sake of it. I do hope it's clear from the numbers what I was doing. All right, now that's the arithmetic mean, and I say again, that's what most people think of as being the average. Although, of course, 1.54 may be the average, but then there are never 1.54 complaints a week. It's either 0, 1, 2, or 3. So the second measure that you can be asked is the median. And what the median is, it is tied to both, so you don't need to copy down what I'm doing, but it's the middle observation if all observations are arranged in order of magnitude. Ugh. Now what that means is, you see here we have 13 observations. And if I wrote them all down, once it was zero, and then six times it was one. One, 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 one. Then four times it was two. 2, 2, 2, 2, and then 2 times it was 3. So there we are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are my 13 observations, but I've listed them in the order of size. doesn't matter whether you put smallest first and biggest last, or biggest first and smallest last, but they're there in order of size. And then when we then say, What's the value of the middle one? And when I say the middle one, think about it. The middle one must be number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, because there are as many above as there are below. You see, there are six below observations, and there are six above. The middle one is the seventh. And so in general terms, it's the value of the n plus one-th observation, where n is the number of observations. So here, I mean, instead of, it's all right, seven, the 13 rather, it didn't take me many minutes to write them down. But, you know, imagine if there were 113 listing forever. Uh, well, there are 13 observations, so in our case, 13 plus 1 over 2, we want the value of the seventh. And how can we get the value of the seventh? Again, this was a small one, so it was easy enough to write down. But... A bit like our O guide. You see, since the uh, number of complaints was 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, the frequency 1, 6, 4, 2. If we look at the cumulative frequency, <coughs> 1 was 0. How many were 0 or 1? 7. Uh, how many were 0, 1, or 2? 11. How many were 0, 1, 2, or 3? Uh, 13. 
I want the value of the seventh one. And what is the value of the seventh one? Ah, there's the seventh one. It's one. You know, I don't know if I'm making this clear, if I'd have said, what's the value of the fifth one? Well, the fifth one, that's the first. The first seven are here. So the fifth one is in that group. It would be one. If I wanted the value of the tenth one, the tenth one, well, the seventh one took us up to there. The, third, the eleventh one took us up to there. So the tenth one must be in that section. It must be two. We wanted the seventh one. The seventh one is in that lot. Uh, the seventh observation is one. The median is one. Uh, now, I'd better mention one small thing. Although we wanted the seventh one, and the seventh one is one, uh, just suppose that there were actually 14 observations. There was another one. Well, we'd want the value of 14 plus 1 over 2. We'd want the value of the seven and a half observation. And there isn't one. Well, a little bit silly, I know. But we say, ah, since the seventh one was one and the eighth one was two, we take halfway between the two and say it's one and a half. So a little bit silly and nothing really to worry about for the exam. Uh, had I wanted the, um, you know, had there been two more, had it been 15, uh, 16 plus one over two, had I wanted the eight and a half, that wouldn't have been a problem because the eighth is two, the ninth is two, so the eight and a half the one halfway between two and two is two. All right, finally, the easiest one of all is the mode. And what the mode is, it's the most frequently occurring observation. Again, we call it an average, even, if, even though it might not be the average you're used to. Uh, but the most frequently occurring observation, well, it, it, it's easy, because 0, 1, 2, 3, they were the observations. The frequencies 1, 6, 4, and 2. Which observation is the most common? 1. The mode is equal to 1. So, a nice easy one. Uh, there can incidentally be two modes, three modes, no problem. You know, it could have been, suppose the frequency of two complaints was six as well. Well, then you'd say there are two modes, one and two. So there we are, the three different. Arithmetic mean, the ordinary average, add them up and divide by the number. The median, the middle one, it's quite commonly used for wages, incidentally. You see, suppose uh, where you work, 100 employees, most of them are paid about 100 a week. And you've got one person in charge paid 10,000 a week. So if you work out the average, because of that 10,000, the average is going to be arithmetic mean, it's going to be quite high. And yet, nearly everybody only gets paid a hundred. So it can be misleading. The median, the one in the middle, where as many people get paid more than you as less than you, of a mode, which is the most common at salary, um, they perhaps will be a bit more meaningful. Anyway, there are the, the measures. However, the example we looked at were all discrete variables. I need to show you in the next example, but again, I'll split the lecture, but I need to show you uh, how we can do it when we've got continuous variables. 
So we'll look at the same three, mean, median, mode, but uh, for continuous. But that's the next lecture.